All right, guys, so we're going to go over some of the steps to diagnose a third lung. This one has a Honda GX120 on it. Um, it's the same rules apply for any of them. Uh, the first thing we're going to always do is check the oil. These things have an oil sensor on them. Um, and if it's low on oil or even sometimes too full on oil, it shuts off the sensor. Um, too full on oil is usually either you put too much oil in it or the carburetor leak gas into the cylinder. So that's full. It's not too full. You want it filled right to the top. It started pouring out a little bit, but it's just really full. I don't, don't smell any gas. It's nice oily. It seems good. So that's the first thing you do. Um, sometimes, the, like I said, the, the carburetor could leak gas out into the cylinder and overfill it with oil um, and that could be an issue so basically there's three things you need to, for this to run you need spark you need compression and you need fuel we can find out if we got spark and compression just by bypassing the fuel so we're gonna go ahead and open this up this is the air filter take take this second nut off However it is, whatever engine you got on yours, a lot of these have like Briggs and Stratton's on them or, you know, a Briggs and Stratton clone, like a Harbor Freight type motor I've seen on them. But same deal. Get the air filter off. All right, so we're gonna try it without first full throttle, without, without uh, um, bypassing the carb. We're just going to give her a few pulls to see what it feels like. I haven't even tried this thing, so I don't know. Make sure the switch is on. Let me set up the camera. All right, make sure you have this off of there. You don't want the uh, the uh, suction. It'll, it'll, it'll pop seals inside your pump. So you want to have this nice and free-flowing. Uh, you know, have this tube here just, you know, away from any mufflers or anything. I'm just going to set it up on the side. Let it dangle. We're gonna go full choke on this. Switches on. Let's see what it does. Oh wait a minute. The gas is on. Let's turn the gas on. Make sure there's gas in it. That's a good idea too. Full of gas. It looks good. Try it again. All right, it's not doing anything. We even try choking it by hand. I can feel suction, but nothing's happening. Off choke. Nothing's happening. So now we're going to grab a can of carb cleaner or brake cleaner, or even just a squirt of gas. We're going to squirt it inside the carburetor. And we're going to try it no choke. All right, that fired up. That means it has spark, it has compression, but it's not getting fuel. So this one needs a carburetor rebuild. I'll do a video on that next. If it didn't fire up, then you would take and you would pull the spark plug. You would put a spark tester in and check the spark. If it's got spark, fuel is an issue, not an issue. Spark's not an issue. You've got a compression issue, which could be in the valves. You're gonna want to probably take that to a technician. But carburetor, that's an easy one. We're gonna do that on the next video. All right, guys, this helped you out in any way, shape, or form. Give me a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button. I'll do the, the next video. I'll do a uh, carburetor on this uh, machine uh, to show you how to do it. Um, if you want to do any advertising on my channel, message me. I'd be more than happy to have you. Peace.